DIYers, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking skateboards today. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to build your own fingerboard. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, down at the Craftsman Workstation and always, always, always busy at the Craftsman Workstation. As you can see, Jet Ski is in-house for the winter and it will endure some maintenance. However, as we make our way to the workstation, you can see our DIY Raptor skateboards mounted on the wall. And what we'll do down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, we will post several helpful links on basically building boards, mounting them, etc. Let's head to the bench. At the workbench now, here is the box that it came in, as you see, and maybe about six inches by six inches. Let's go and open it. And what? Stickers, basically. Set that aside. Check that out. Neat. And regardless of your order, it comes with this little case here. And looking at it, first glance, it's not centered. However, when I was putting this together or designing it on the computer, the logo itself was centered. And this is our toolbox cryptocurrency token logo for our specific DIY channel. And here are additional parts. We've got our grip tape. You see toolboxtoken.com. That is our cryptocurrency token website. I'll go ahead and open this and start pulling stuff out. And interesting, they gave us a blank grip tape and our custom grip tape that, again, we put toolboxtoken.com. And another sticker. Awesome, we've got our wheels. Looks like the inner bearings are in there. Not bad. The tool and truck hardware and our black trucks. And when you get to design this on the website, there are several different colors to choose from, both trucks, wheels, etc. And what else do we have? Wow, additional grip tape. And a closer view of it. Again, not centered. And I used my PNG file for a cryptocurrency token logo. Again, this is called Toolbox. And our ticker symbol is DIY. And we are going to open this up. And pretty neat. And this is actually, or actual wood. Pretty neat. Here's our tech deck from the early 1990s. Our World Industries board, as you see here. And definitely a difference in size, as you can see. And the grip tape is real grip tape. So I'll set that aside. However, World Industries was not our favorite back in the 90s. Believe it or not, it was Think Skateboards. And still to today, even with Think Skateboards being gone, it's still my favorite. And I'll set that aside. And I may start with the grip tape. And it looks like... It just comes right off. Now the unfortunate thing is we have to cut this grip tape, which is a big bummer because Tech Deck actually sends the grip tape already pre-cut. So all you have to do is position it properly over the truck holes or hardware holes and press it in place. And this doesn't really feel the same, but we'll go with it, whatever. And Let's see which side's the front. It looks like the left and right are the exact same mold. So there really is no front and back. And it will depend on how you want it to be set up. So if I have it like that, I flip it and it's like that. So if I have it like that and flip it, it's like that. And that's what I might do. And again, just center as best you can the grip tape on the board. And I might actually set it down on the workbench And I think I've got it right where I want it. You got these little indents here on either side. Make sure you properly apply some friendly pressure. And again, it looks like we have to cut, which is unfortunate, but we'll do it. The cool thing is, if you center it properly, you won't have to cut the sides because that is a perfect cut from right side of the board to the left side of the board. And here's a better view of it. Toolboxtoken.com if you have not heard or seen our cryptocurrency token again birthed from our diy youtube channel definitely go to toolboxtoken.com learn more about us we've got a fun mission ahead 
Next, I've grabbed some scissors and I'm just going to come to the bottom side and carefully cut around the outer and rounded edge of the skateboard. Not the best. Kind of bummed out that they don't already send it pre-cut, which would have been awesome, but whatever. And again, here is the trucks and hardware. And I've got to grab my tool and additional hardware. And the wheels. Awesome. And again, you can pick from several different colored trucks, wheels, etc. And we chose black. And it looks like the trucks are already complete. Next, I need to poke the holes for the hardware. And I will do that. And basically just bringing it right through, as you can see right there. Now it is time to push the screws through the hole. And this might be time consuming, but as you can see, there's one through. What I'm doing now is I've got the screwdriver, I've got the truck, and I'm just carefully tightening one. And I'll align that back like that. Continue installing these screws and tightening them. Do not over tighten them. That would not be good. Making progress. Both trucks are on and they don't look bad. I like them. From here, time to install the wheels. Just like everything else, do not over tighten these. Neat. And I'll install the remaining three wheels. And that looks pretty slick. We also ordered a second board, and the board is white with the same logo on it. Again, our cryptocurrency toolbox, aka DIY token. And we like that. Toolboxtoken.com. Again, definitely check out that website. And again, from the late 1990s tech deck board, quite a difference, as you can see. Pretty cool. back and our second board has arrived check that out again white and the logo itself is slightly smaller than the first one and it's more centered and we are going to keep that new board in the case and coming to the back side again toolboxtoken.com definitely check out that website get to know more about our cryptocurrency journey and token and ecosystem we've been playing with this one a lot pretty awesome and we are going to put our world industry board in that case that that board came in. And I thought, well, that board being from the early 90s, well, maybe it deserves a case. How cool is that? Taking a big step back, DIYers. Hopefully, again, this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.